So here's an example, a, a real world example. Let's say you wrote a model uh, that's for insurance companies and it takes a picture and it's going to estimate the, the, the damage, you know, how much damage is there in dollars to repair. Well, we got kind of a problem because there's two types of damage. There's major damage, which is really obvious, you know, a crumbled up side of the car, a broken windshield, uh, etc. But then we also got minute damage, a ding, a scratch, you know, a little a crease, stuff that's hard to see with the eye. And obviously the major damage would overwhelm the minor damage. If we had a model, we, we just simply try to train for both. Okay. So the way we do it is we know what the major damage is so big that it's easy to spot. And so we can just go ahead and use the encoding, which is at the low dimensionality, so it's much smaller, much more efficient, and use its output to train to look for major damage. On the other hand, the little stuff is so small, it probably would get lost in this dimensionality reduction. So we want to use the earlier stage, the encoding, where it's of high dimensionality and we can still spot things like a ding, a scratch, etc. So if you looked at a model, if somebody was writing this model, you know, they would have their normal model here and they would completely reuse it. No, there's no task here. You get to this last stage. This is the latent space. And there's going to be two outputs from it. And they're going to be hooked to two separate task learners. One's going to learn the minor damage. One's going to learn the major damage. Nobody would write two separate models to do this.